What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Agent Smith in Multiverses. Giving you a great beginner's floor plan to a game plan and strategy, some beginning starting combos, and even some perk recommendations. Subscribe here for more Multiverses and fighting game content and let's get right into it. Agent Smith is a bruiser and man, he, he sure plays like it. He is a bit more mid range than he is close range, but he's got some pretty good close range stuff. So regarding his moveset, his normals, his specials, here are my biggest tips and things that you need to keep in mind. His neutral attack is a grab here, and that does have cooldown. So the first time you hit it, you actually silence your opponent. So now they cannot do abilities that require cooldown for them. So like Batman's Batarang, Bugs Bunny's Rocket, stuff like that. If you try to do it again while your move is on cooldown, you're just going to headbutt them. But it's still a pretty good move anyways. It's a lot of fun to do in combos too. A lot of times your opponent tries to dodge out of that combo and they'll just dodge into the grab. Speaking of that combo, his side attack combo is just a really good combo by itself. Leads into a lot of stuff. Down attack even, up attack. You can sometimes catch your opponent off guard as well by doing a down special. They might dodge into this grab allowing for even more combos. Now, as you can see below Agent Smith, we have the number three. So we got three bullets in the chamber for our gun. Our gun is utilizing our aerial down special, standing neutral special, and aerial and grounded side special and even your dash attack. And like I said, we have three bullets in the chamber right now. So if you do any of those moves, you're gonna shoot the three shots. And this recharges over time. But you can actually recharge it faster by simply doing melee attacks. And before you know it, you got three bullets again. And then just utilize that however you want. Agent Smith does have an armor move as well. His down attack does gain armor and it's a pretty good kill move too. So I recommend utilizing that in combos or just utilizing the armor whenever you see fit. Agent Smith has a really cool grounded down special where he calls out another agent. The agent runs, grabs your opponent and throws them towards you allowing for more combo potential. That does have cooldown so you can't just like spam that. But it's really cool to like throw it out there. They get grabbed by it. You get aerial combo and that extra agent does count as a projectile as well if you use like projectile based perks or if you're fighting an agent Smith and you need to know what projectiles he's got. The gun is one of them, obviously, but that extra agent is also a projectile. Keep in mind his grounded neutral special move here with the gun, you can actually aim that up or down. And that includes in the air as well. So get good at aiming fast. People don't know this, but it's up special. It acts like a teleport, but two notes about it. One, you can hold and aim that and wherever that reticle is, you're gonna teleport to that. But it also does damage when you appear where that reticle is at. And believe it or not, it'll actually kill like this. And real quick, as Multiverses is really based on 2v2s and duos, you might be wondering, you know, what does Agent Smith offer when it comes to being a duo partner? Like, what can he do for his partner? Well, his down special is actually really cool. When he calls the extra agent, if that agent passes by an ally, now whenever they do a forward or a neutral attack on the ground, they will spawn the agent. Not only that, but as you can see right now, our ally has like the matrix around them. So if we do down special again, anyone on the map grounded, we will actually teleport to our ally. So those are really the biggest tips and tricks to keep in mind when it comes to Agent Smith and his entire moveset and things to not forget about regarding his kit. Now, when it comes to strategies and his game plan as a bruiser, um, Agent Smith is, again, pretty straightforward and kind of in-your-face kind of character. You're really focusing on the amount of bolts you have because simply put, the more bolts you got, the more damage you're going to do, the more moves you're going to do. Then when you only have one ball in the chamber, get back to melee attacks. Neutral attacks so you can silence your opponent like this. More melee attacks. Now we've got three bolts again. Bada bing, bada boom. We're good. Agent Smith is in your face. He really excels at like the close to mid range. He can do a lot of good stuff at that mid range because of his gun. So you might be wondering like, what do I do here? What do I do in neutral? What's my game plan here? You wanna put pressure on your opponent as you are a bruiser. You don't mind getting in their face and you shouldn't be scared about that. I like to throw out the double agent, make them scared, make them jump away from that, giving me the option to jump and catch them in the air if they decide to jump. And if they don't, they usually get caught by the double agent. So it might look like this. If you really want to get in, side special is a great option. You can directionally input if you want to go down a little bit faster on that as well. But she's got a really good horizontal range. So it's just a great way to like close in that distance and get in your opponent's face. You don't really want to let up. We've got projectiles, but again, they don't go that far. You don't want to be too far away from your opponent. You want to get in their face. I'm not going to lie to you. Neutral game with Agent Smith is, uh, is pretty straightforward. You just want to get in their face, be a bruiser, bruise them up. Now, what are some really good KO moves for Agent Smith, especially when your opponent is at like a higher percentage? what moves you'll be using to actually KO your opponent. I'll tell you right now, his neutral attack, the grab is really good for that. Just look at this knockback, even at 100%. That's so good. Side special is also a great one. Aerial side attack's also really good. And of course, your aerial down attack, your spike is awesome. And even your up attacks, both grounded and aerial, are also great. Like at 120%, watch this kill. 
that's just so good. But now with all that, what are some good ways to start some combos with Agent Smith? Well, honestly, your side attack goes into a lot of good stuff. Side attack twice into anything else, like a special or uh, another attack. Like side attack, side attack, down attack. Great starting option. Or same thing and then up attack. Or have your opponent accidentally dodge into a slower move like your down special. Then boom, more combos for you. One of my favorites is just going to like side attack, side attack, and then neutral attack for that grab. There are a lot of fun ways to continue side attack combos into anything else. Those are just a few options. Now let's go and talk about some perks you might want to be using for Agent Smith. Agent Smith is one of the very few characters that actually has three signature perks. The first thing you can see here, Smith's guns attack will only shoot once, but if he has extra ammo, the attack will have a sweet spot at the end. More damage, more knockback at like the tip of the range that the gun will have. You only get one shot, but if you have more ammo, you hit it just right, it'll do more damage and knockback. That's not bad. Or freeze protocol with a down special, the agent will actually hold enemies in place instead of throwing them but of course they can struggle to get out of it and here's how that looks by the way so we do down special rather than our agent throwing them they'll just hold them there but you can see it's very quick they can struggle out of that very fast and because of that it's almost not worth using like if my agent's just gonna grab them i might as well just have them throw them anyway personal opinion but i just don't really care to have them hold it only because it's just such a short amount of time like if it held them longer i might consider it but it's just so short i might well just throw them there and we have the buddy system and this is mainly for duos because as you can see here it says use your up special on an ally to attach to them then use an extended version of the attack and here's how that looks it's almost not really worth using as you don't really do a ton with that perk it's just not noticeable enough that i care to use it in my opinion but the ability to attach to our ally for a short brief moment is just like okay so my favorite option is the hand cannon i do only get one shot with my gun but once you get that sweet spot down it is so nice and i just think it's better than freeze protocol and buddy system they're not terrible so i wouldn't really blame you for using these ones especially if you play a ton of duos and you want to use the buddy system awesome i just find more use and i find myself getting more ko's with hand cannon so that's just my opinion now what about your secondary perk well agent smith has got a gun and the double agent you can call in is a projectile so i find and so much use out of that flammable dock. If you don't know, after you hit your opponent with a projectile, you can hit them with a melee attack and then ignite them, thus doing damage over time. We got a lot of projectiles, including even in our dash attack. So to line projectiles with Agent Smith is not hard. Then you just melee them and you have to melee them to get your bullets back in your gun. So you're doing a lot of both. So that flammable dock is just a no brainer for me. He's the bruiser and he's fast, but I want more speed in my bruisers. So I always just go for speed force assist. We're not lasting too much after hitting 100%. So last stand is not my favorite air walker if you want to use it wouldn't blame you and agent smith does have a really good dash attack so honestly too fast to block not a bad option either i use this one here and there for sure but speed force assist i just love using too much i find it so hard to stray from pugilist just that extra melee damage especially when using a bruiser like agent smith this goes really hand in hand with that flammable dog you're doing more melee damage then you got that flammable dog for the projectile usage i just don't care to use these other moves in my opinion why not use that extra damage you know what i'm saying with all that being said i hope this video helped you get a really good beginner's grasp on agent smith where to start and how to begin using him if it did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe here for more multiverses content take it one step at a time my dudes and if you're enjoying yourself go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses guides news reactions and more